guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because... Anyways, I'm so excited because I finally, after months and weeks of trying to find and hunt down this product and almost spending like a good $30 online, I finally found it and I paid under $10 and I'm just so happy right now. You guys are probably wondering which product that is, but I'm going to show you guys right now. I finally got my hands on the Eco Styler Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil. I'm so excited to try this out. Most of the reviews I've seen on this product so far has been good. So I know everyone's hair is different and you know you kind of have to try it out for yourself to see you know if it works for you or not. Why am I saying you know so much? Wait, why, why? Why? First I was always saying definitely, now I'm saying you know so much. But anyways. Um, so this is like a first impression video. You guys are going to see me put this on. I'm going to tell you guys my first impression. And again, I'm going to be honest and let you guys know if I like it or not, you know, because I don't want you guys... Well, then again, I don't want to lie to you guys. And if this doesn't work for my hair, I don't know what the results is going to be. But if it doesn't work for my hair, don't assume that it won't work for your hair because everyone's hair is different. It's best you try, try it before you base your opinion on... Like, go off of someone else's opinion. So, as some of you guys may know, Eco Styler came up with two new Eco Styler gels. This is the coconut one. My little sister's trying out this one. I haven't really seen a lot of big raves about the coconut one. I've more seen big raves about this one, and I'm assuming because it has the black caster um, in it. My sister did open and smell this one. She said it smelled good, and I want to try this one out too. I want to see uh, the difference. I want to see the difference but this is the two sides that we got so I got the bigger one because they only had the bigger one in this but it was worth it me buying this size I paid $7.99 for this big bottle when I was trying to get it online it was like it was more I almost spent no lie $30 and that was including shipping so I was just so happy that my mind told me to go to the hair store because I need to get shea butter and I stumbled across this I was so happy and then this is the smaller so you guys can see the, the size difference I think this one was $2.99 this was $2.99 for this size, and it's almost $7.99, so, yeah. Anyways, I just washed my hair, you know, I didn't really want to show you guys because nothing has really changed with my wash hair routine. I just washed my hair with shampoo, I gave it a little deep conditioning because it was my deep conditioning day, and then I just conditioned and washed it out. So right now, my hair, my hair is dry because I had it in this towel for a while. So my hair is probably dry, and I wanted to apply this product to my hair while my hair is wet, so now I'm going to have to go back in and... Wet it up. I'm gonna be working in sections, you know, because this is my first time using this the gel product. Okay, let me let me let me tell you guys something. I've tried applying the olive oil eco styler gel to my hair as like a styling product, and it kind of weighed my hair down. So I'm hoping this doesn't do that. What the first thing I noticed when I got this, I not I didn't even open it yet, but just as at looking at it, it looked. Compare it to the olive oil gel texture, you can, this, the texture looks different, definitely looks different. It has like some sparkly look to it. Most of the Stico Styler gel like this, everyone has like a little thing they can pull up, but this one you have to actually twist it off. Oh my god. This does have a sweet smell. Ugh. It smells so nice. Oh my god, it smells so nice. I have this thing for products that smell really nice. It smells so nice. I probably should have told you guys what this kind of does. So, what it says on it is that it's the Eco Styler Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil. It contains vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3. It's the Max Hold um, number 10. So it says that it promotes hair growth, shines, nourishes, repairs, and grows. There's no flake, no tack, and anti-itch. We will see about that. So to use this, you can apply this on wet or dry hair, work desired amount throughout your hair, and then you style it. It says that it's weightless and will leave your hair with a healthy shine and superior hold. Let's see because I don't like products that weigh my hair down. I don't like products that just feel heavy on my hair and I, I don't want to have to apply too much. But let's talk about the texture. So, oh wow, okay, it's a little thick, it's a little thicker um, than I thought it would be by just judging how it looked out here. It does have like a shine to it, so it has like the, it's, it, it feels thick, I'm not gonna lie, me judging, when I looked at it I thought it would have like a smoother type of 
um, texture, but it is it is a little thick. Kind of worries me. I hope it doesn't weigh my hair down. I'm just gonna go in with just a little bit, I guess, when I'm applying it to my hair. And now my hair is my hair is washed and conditioned and deep conditioned. I'm just gonna go in and wet it right now because I want to apply the products to my hair while my hair is wet because that's when I get my best results. I think I'm gonna try do another video of me applying these this product specifically to my hair when it's dry. Maybe like me refreshing third day hair or something like that. So this is just water that's in this bottle. Okay, I'm one indecisive person. I literally have three products here because I don't know which one to use as my leave-in. Like, I'm so indecisive, but what I'm gonna do is actually test the gel with these products on the back of my hand to see which one blends out better. That is actually a way for you to um, try out and see if the products mash together. So I'm actually gonna, this is the Entwine Hydrator. Yeah, this doesn't mix together. So guys, I applied the I applied the the cream my entwine to my hand, and I applied some of the gel on my finger. And yeah, this definitely doesn't. You see how it's clumpy? It's too clumpy. So I'm not gonna. These two don't go. So I can't use the entwine. I gotta find a product that's gonna blend out with the gel. So. Like I said, that's one way you can find out what products you can always use together whenever you're applying them to your hair. So I'm gonna try, I don't even think I have a lot of this. I'm gonna try my Entwine Leave-In. This is a little bit more light. This kinda blends out. It's still kinda clumpy though. Yeah, this is still kind of clumpy. So yeah, the, you see the clumps? This is what you don't want. So definitely no, no. Jane, maybe I need to go in with a, like a gel type product. But anyways, Jane, Jesse Curl. You know, whoa, these are all so clumpy. Definitely not. So I'm gonna try the Jesse Curl Rockin' Ringless. This is not, this is more on the liquid side. This is probably gonna blend out better. Yeah. But anyways, that's with the rockin. You see, you can't even see anything really on my hand. So those two work. So I can use that, the rockin ringlets. I just wanna try one more product because I actually want these products to finish. Okay. So this one is my Poppin' Curls Hair Lotion. This one definitely blends out, so I can also use this. See how you can't see no clumps or anything on my hand? I know the light's kind of there, but you can't see any clumps. So I can definitely use this. I can go in with this. I'm assuming because this is more on the lighter side. I'm gonna go in with both. So I'm gonna apply this as my leave-in conditioner to my hair. So I'm just gonna take some of the flaxy gel, about a little too much, about that much, a dime size. I'm just gonna rake it in, make sure I get the ends. I'm gonna use the prayer method because the prayer method is like my number one go-to. And then I'm just gonna rake the product into my hair. So this is my hair after me applying the Eco Styler to my hair. This is the thing, I like when I have volume in my hair. So sometimes, or after I apply the product to my hair, I like to flip my hair upside down and then kind of like scrunch it. 
So right now because I applied the gel to my hair while my hair is flat down like this I know that it's gonna dry like this and I'm gonna have a flat look and that's not what I want So I'm actually gonna flip my hair upside down and kind of like shake it out and scrunch it up And I'm actually gonna diffuse my hair because I don't have time to <laughs> let it air dry right now So I'm gonna go and diffuse my hair and see the results Hopefully I didn't put too much where it's gonna weigh my hair down These, this is like the final results to my hair. You can definitely see the shine. I was expecting my hair to have like a crunch feeling because any gel I usually apply to my hair has like that crunchy feeling, but it doesn't have like any crunch feeling. It feels really soft, it feels moisturized. And you guys can see like the shine is there, the definition is definitely there. My hair is just still kind of wet, so you obviously can't fully, you know, see it, but the one thing I love about this product is my hair is not stiff. I can literally flip it this way and you know it's not stiff. I can flip it this way. Again, it's not stiff. And that is it. I think I am definitely feeling this product. This is the first time I've ever used an Eco Styler gel where it didn't weigh my curls down and it definitely didn't leave my hair feeling crunchy. So that I am loving. You guys can kind of see like some of the curl definition under here. I want to try out this product um, doing the finger coil. I want to try it on dry hair. I'm going to do it on like some kind of slick bun. I'm really planning to explore with this product and I'm excited to explore with this product. I'm happy that I finally found a gel that did not leave my hair feeling crunchy and moisturized. That is what I'm mo most surprised about. But moment of truth, is this product worth the buy? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the hype? I give it two thumbs up and I say yes. Future Cold is approved with this product. Ah, I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, that is my first impression on this product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've tried out this one or the coconut oil, let me know in the comments below. I want to know if it worked for you or if it didn't. And guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.